What's up keepers? The roll cut glove style is all the rage in the US soccer scene right now. It's one of the latest cut styles to become popular and has a lot of great features. So let's dive into our review on the gorgeous flagship glove from the Tuto, the Tuto Maximus Elite. The Tuto Maximus is a roll cut glove, making it a lot meatier or thicker in size and materials than your typical flat or negative cut glove. And like the name would suggest, the prime focus of the roll cut is that the glove has latex rolled over all the extremities of the hand. That means the pinky, the side of the palm, the fingers, all of them have rolled latex to get the most latex on the ball when handling, diving, or catching the ball. And while that does seem like a simple ask for a glove, it's actually not that easy to make a great roll cut glove which has gotten me to be a lot more strict with these reviews, especially when it comes to the roll cut gloves that I've reviewed in the past. But right now, let's talk features. Our Tuto Maximus Elite comes with 4mm of Invictus latex, which is something like a mix of a contact and Giga Grip latex. The glove cut is a large and gorgeous roll cut, and there's a full extra wide wrist strap with a pull tab on the wrist for easy access to get the gloves on. The backhand is made up of a super soft latex with a rubber padded punching zone on the knuckles and the gloves are pre-curved in a catching position to help make sure you're controlling the ball and keeping the hand shape as perfect as you can. Okay, so our first real question is what's a good roll cut glove and do the Tuto Maximus Elites hit the spot? While I am particularly picky about my roll cut gloves as they used to be my favorite style of cut when I was first buying gloves and reviewing them, but I did come to find that a lot of bad roll cut gloves will skimp on quality latex and proper backhand or structure of the gloves and focus mainly on the rolling of the latex which is not the best takeaway of the roll cut glove. It's actually the shape and strong body structure that is what I initially fell in love with. A good roll cut glove has a strong rigid body that doesn't fold easily, which is why they look so much thicker and meatier than your traditional glove. And to the point, the Tuto Maximus has a great rigid structure. This is very important for keepers that might have issues with the ball stinging their hands. A good rigid body like this will help eat up all that sting and turn these painful saves into simple holds, which is an automatic positive for me. There is a slight negative mixed in with this though, the gloves will not be the easiest to make a fist with because of this rigidness, but after a little work, you will get used to it, I promise. And we have to be honest here, a good roll cut glove needs to be big and wide. It has to give you more material to get behind the ball and more weight to help the latex do its job. And here, the Maximus earns its name. The cut is huge with a bit of negative space in the palm and fingers, but not enough to make a big difference in fit. The gloves are great at completely surrounding the ball in latex and using its weight plus those materials to hold on to any and all shots. The backhand is poofy, super soft latex, and the wrist entry is connected with neoprene and goes a little bit deeper down the wrist for added control over the gloves. Plus, this wrist strap is thick and long for the best possible closure around your forearm. Now, when we take a close look at the latex on the Maximus, we get this Invictus latex, which is quickly becoming one of my most interesting latex styles. The grip is not out of the world on, in terms of stickiness, but it does get the job done. And interestingly enough, it actually works through mud and wet weather situations, which is something that not all top level gloves can do, which is a call out to how well the roll cut can perform if it's given the right tools. So while the Invictus Latex probably wouldn't make it in my top 5 of sticky latexes, the performance definitely has it rivaling some of the best latexes ever with overall performance in all weather situations. And being a roll cut glove with top notch latex makes it a glove available for literally any situation. And that meant that I even felt comfortable enough using these gloves in one of our academy matches against a great team, the second team at SVAL Mepin, the U23 team, we made some awesome saves. So let's take a look at our gloves after about 2-3 to three months of use during the dry summer and wet beginnings of fall. 
I use these gloves primarily on grass, so you can see a lot of that dirt got rubbed right into the latex. But overall, grass is going to be a lot nicer to your durability than something like artificial turf. So make sure to keep that in mind when you're looking at this look over. And for our roll cut, you will see that most areas that are beginning to tear and flake are going to be the pointer fingers around the tips. It has the most tension and is probably the part of the glove we use the most. And when we take a look at the seams and stitching across the fingers and the backhand, the gloves look like they are in top shape, albeit a little dirty. Even this wrist area is showing no fraying or tears on the strap, other than the area where the latex has ripped off, and what I really like is how well the pull tab is done. Most of the time pull tabs are added in these gloves, they end up ripping the glove or just getting ripped out. These are very well made and do a great job of helping you slide on the gloves and get that wrist strap on really easily. Now if you check out my left palm, you can see I tend to drag my hand across the ground more, and that is shown with all that extra tearing across the palm. So remember, durability is directly affected by your technique and care of your gloves. Overall, the Tuto Maximus is a crazy comfortable glove. I enjoyed the feeling on my hands a lot, and honestly, I would rate these as some of the best roll cut gloves of 2021 and going into 2022. They hit all of the needed features to make a great roll cut and add comfort and class to each point. It is an extremely well-made glove, and at the time of this video, they are on sale for 60 British pounds or 80 US dollars, which is a great deal for these gloves. I would definitely recommend these to travel or elite level goalkeepers that like roll cuts or want to try out one of the best cuts out right now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again very soon.